development uh, at UBESCO PowerShell. UBESCO PowerShell has been uh, is a long-standing uh, asset manager uh, with close to um, $1 trillion in the management. The very particularity of UBESCO, um, it has uh, active capabilities as well as passive capabilities. The active capabilities uh, that have been acquiring, uh, acquiring over the years, over the last 20 years, uh, through different um, uh, strategy proposals, uh, asset classes, in a very active manner. But they've also had uh, another PowerShell brand. Uh, and the last acquisition that we had lately sourced in Europe and Guggenheim in the US, uh, a very, very strong passive investment capabilities in the form of ETFs listed both in the US and in Europe. But we wanted to spend some time on today uh, was really uh, yield propositions in a very different manner. We have a couple of products that are delivering yield uh, to income-seeking investors. Um, those products are US-focused, but it does bring some sort of diversification into a portfolio of a European investor. Uh, and those two products are uh, one focusing on preferred shares and the other one focusing on fallen angel uh, high yield bonds. Product developer, uh, you know, good ideas don't fall from the sky. So this type of event is obviously uh, critical for us to understand, you know, on the one hand what investors want. We also obviously want to talk about to them about product we've launched. The product we have launched are made for them, they tell it for them. So we have this double opportunity to push our offering, but at the same time to uh, inter interact with them and understand better what their needs are for the future product that we'll be launching. It's this region basically covers a lot of uh, the big users of ETFs, whether it's Switzerland, uh, Germany, uh, Austria. Um, you have a lot of um, wealth managers, uh, asset owners, um, fund management companies that are increasingly been using ETFs. And we clearly see that as a growth uh, area for us. Uh, therefore, it's very important for us to be here. So ETF have been really starting um, uh, growing quite a lot in the US uh, 15 years ago. As a matter of fact, when you compare the growth of the UMs in Europe and in the US, they pretty much had the same shape uh, just 15 years uh, apart. What has been driving um, the growth in ETFs has been a need for investors to have at the same time uh, bidding blocks to bid their portfolios, to have straightforward path-through exposures to indices, uh, which are passive in nature, systematic, uh, but that tailor very, very precisely uh, the type of exposure they want to have. What you see in Europe today is exactly the same phenomenon. Um, there has been a pressure on cost, there has been pressure on performance, and there has been pressure uh, on delivering simple products uh, in a very uh, systematic manner, uh, in a very efficient manner. 